Hey everybody, it's Brad here. I'm gonna go and start on a root job over the property. It's a flat roof, so that's kind of unique. It uh, has a built up roof system on it right now, which is like tar, and then there's some gravel on there. I'm gonna scrape the gravel off, clean the tar, and apply a product that is 100% silicone. So we'll see how that all goes. Okay, so I thought this was going to be pretty simple. Here's the floor. I mean, it's like sweeping up rocks, right? Nope. It's not. It is a little bit trickier than that. <laughs> yeah, let me... Let me... Uh, uh, here, I'll, I'll show you the, the rocks. Despite what it looks like in the camera, I have actually moved quite a bit of rocks. Okay, so day two of the uh, re-roofing project. We've gotten a method down here. I use this little wagon. And then we uh, brush and scoop. I'll show you. Okay, see so yeah, how we're just brushing and scooping. Brush that and scoop with the snow shovel here. That's what we use snow shovels for in Texas. And moving rock. Okay, so this is how we do it. Let me see if I can do this. We decided to go with a product that was not 100% silicone for a variety of reasons. One, because if it's silicone, other things won't stick to it. So if you've got to do a patch in the future, the research I found showed it was incredibly hard to patch silicone. But I did find this other product, uh, just bought it at Lowe's, called Elasto Cool 1000. Um, it turned out to be a really great product was this one was only 90 bucks a bucket versus the other one was 250 bucks a bucket. So you could do a lot more roofing for way less price with this one. Um, another benefit was the stores around me had this in stock, whereas the silicone, I had to special order it and wait seven days. So if you ran out before your roof was done, you'd have to wait seven days and even silicone won't stick to itself. So I would have had to had all of the product up front 
put it on and not have any breaks in between. Okay, so this is probably day three. And as you can tell, we've gotten a lot more product. Um, this stuff says that it goes on from 250 square feet to 350 square feet for each 4.75 gallon bucket. Not the case. Um, at least that's not been my experience. So you need a little bit more than that. Um, but it's turning out really good. I'll show you in just a little bit the um, the uh, roof up here. Let me go up the ladder real quick. And, uh, here, I'll, I'll go. Let's see. It's a gorgeous day today. Look at this. Okay, so this right here is the product. It's really awesome. It seems to be nice and nice and uh, solid. We just need to finish off the rest of this and then we'll be done. Okay, so we've done maybe, I don't know, third quarter of the roof. And we're going to start on the rest of it. We've just been blowing off the loose dirt. Um, oh, and we hauled all these buckets up. One fun thing that we did was one of us would stand down on the truck which is just right here. And then the other one would grab that orange strap and pull from the top, and so that was just a lot of work. But anyway, what isn't a lot of work? But it's a gorgeous day, we'll see what happens. Okay. Before you put this stuff down, you gotta Okay, so the pattern we found works best is we do the edge here really nice and then we come back in and fill in the rest because then we get the edge really nice and thick and then um, and then we just fill in the rest. Still a lot of work, but it's turning out. 